guys and welcome to today's video. Today I did, well, a makeup look for one, but I also tried out a bunch of new products I was really excited about. Um, and then I made a look to go with this beautiful Bolero vest that um, Horsha Beauty Designs is about to list. It'll probably be up for sale by the time this video goes up. But this has to be one of my favorite designs I've ever come up with. Um, I definitely want to kind of recreate elements of this when I do my own personal vest. But yes, this is what I came up with. I hope you guys like it. And if you like to see how I get this, then just keep on watching. There is one more thing I wanted to add before we jump into the tutorial. I am thinking of going to the Quarter Horse Congress this year. There really just has to be enough interest for me to go. So if you are interested in getting an appointment, at the Quarter Horse Congress, please leave a comment or message me on Instagram or email me at horseshowbeauty at gmail.com or Facebook message me. Anything to let me know the date that you were interested in or the dates that you're interested in and if you are interested or not because I just can't afford to fly from Arizona all the way to Ohio to have a handful of appointments. So if you're interested, please let me know and hopefully we can work something out. All right, let's go ahead and get into the tutorial. Today I'm going to do a really exciting video for me at least. I'm going to try out some new products and I'm going to do a pink look to go with a vest that I created with my mom um, for our business, Horse Show Beauty Designs. So here is the vest. I am totally obsessed with it. I think I'm going to make one similar um, for myself, but I want to do different colors. So anyways, um, this one will be posted for sale probably before this video even goes up, but it has a bunch of hand sewn crystals. It has um, flat back crystals glued everywhere. There's crystals all over this thing. We have some sparkly fabric. We have ultra suede. We have it all. And then at the bottom we have some beaded fringe. So I am obsessed with how this came out. Um, and so I was really inspired to do a makeup look to go with it. So let's get started So I went to Ulta and Walmart and I picked up um, a couple things And it's not a full face and a lot of it is affordable But I'm kind of just piecing everything together because I want to try these and then I want to use the pink kind of look to go with the best First things first is primer. I did go ahead and pick up one of my favorites Which is the flower beauty perfecting primer you guys have seen this in other videos um, and I ran out of mine So I picked that up, but the one I really want to try is a new Stila lingerie souffle skin perfecting primer This is the illuminating one. There's also a bronzing one basically from what I picked up on it is it's supposed to be a hydrating smoothing primer. So I have dry skin. I have a hard time finding smoothing primers that don't make me feel more dry. Um, it comes in some really bougie, bulky packaging. Not great for travel. I mean, I guess if I really liked it and I wanted to travel with it, I would just put it in its own little jar. Souffle is a good way to put it. It's not runny whatsoever. It's kind of moussey. Um, so I'm just taking a little bit here. If this isn't hydrating enough, I'm going to go in with some other stuff. Um, I did go ahead and do all my skin prep. I did a pamper day last night. Last night was my birthday. So I pampered my skin last night with like face masks and I did some retexturizing stuff. I went ahead and zoomed you guys in so you can hopefully see a little bit better up close. Um, that felt really nice and light. I can't even feel it on the skin. It did feel hydrating. It's not overly hydrating. So if you had oily skin, I'm sure you could use it. I don't really know that I'm noticing it blurring. We'll see when we go in with foundation. I went ahead and I kind of cleaned up my brows. We'll see how it goes when I actually do my brows. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and just underline my brow and then um, carve it out with concealer and prime the eyelid. This way I kind of know the shape of my eyebrow because that does influence how I, uh, like the shape of put my eyeshadow on. So now that we are looking super cute, I'm going to go in and start with some eyeshadow. So I picked up the Milani Soft and Sultry Eyeshadow Palette. I had this on sale at my Walmart for $7 and the one I grabbed, the box was damaged but none of the eyeshadows have been touched so I don't know if they're all on sale, like if they're getting rid of it or what but I've never actually tried Milani eyeshadows, at least not that I remember. So first I'm going to take, oop, don't want to blind you guys, this kind of just nude shade in the palette to set the, let's start with the upper crease, it looks a little darker than my base. So by starting in that kind of upper crease, it can almost act as a transition shade. Yeah, that shade's a little darker than um, the concealer I have on. So it's going to kind of help us blend also. But I like to set my concealer before going in and trying to blend a transition shade in. Because if you don't, it'll kind of grab. Next, I'm just going to slowly build up the crease with this color here on Morphe JH32. It's just a big fluffy brush. I'm going to put this slightly above the crease. I'm thinking of doing kind of a glitter cut crease, like pink glitter cut crease today. I want to do something more for the pleasure, like the trail or western riding. Because that vest is primarily for those kinds of classes. So I want to have fun with it. So far, so good 
with the eyeshadows they seem a little bit powdery um, I don't know if you guys saw when I tap off my brush it kind of like poof everywhere but that doesn't bother me next I'm gonna deepen up the crease with the shade right here this is a JH 34 so it's a slightly smaller blending brush but still a nice and fluffy so again I'm keeping this just above the crease these are actually very pigmented I am winging it out just a little bit now what I think I'm gonna do is hop over to the modern Renaissance palette just so I can get some of those kind of pink tones um obviously that milani one doesn't have the pink color so i'm gonna use this but so far what i've used of the milani palette i like it i'm gonna take a luxie 239 brush in the color love letter it's like the hot pink kind of color in the palette and i did tap off a lot of the excess these shadows are very uh very pigmented but also very powdery so i'm starting by just tapping this on the outer half of the eye and then i'm taking a small blending brush this is a jh40 by morphe and now I'm just gonna blend that color out, winging it out ever so slightly as well. Now I'm taking the color Real Gar. I don't really know how to say it. It's like the bright orange in the palette. And I'm gonna put this into my crease and help blend the pink out with it. Of course, this looks like a hot mess in the beginning. That's how all masterpieces start, but have no fear. Now I'm taking that color Love Letter, which is the bright, er, yeah, the brightest pink in the palette. I'm just going to go over where we first placed it to re-intensify and then drag it up into the crease as well. I do really want to make sure that this pink comes through. I'm going to go in with a more clean brush. This is the M514 from Morphe. It's fairly clean. <laughs> and then I'm going to take a little bit of a nude colored eyeshadow and just start to blend out the edge, especially on this wing here. Pretty much everything else is blended. Now going back in with that JH40 brush, I'm taking Cypress Umber, which is a dark brown. It's a very, very dark brown. Darkest color in the palette. Very outer V. Next I'm gonna take the JH41. It's like a nice little tiny concealer brush. And I'm gonna take some concealer to carve out my crease. I'm not gonna do this too heavily because I do have like a liquid glitter eyeshadow I'm gonna go in with, but I wanna clean it up just a smidge. I'm gonna leave it right about that. I do want the pink to show and then I'm gonna put the glitter so it's all gonna balance out. So now I'm gonna grab the Revolution Eye Glisten Foil and Glitter. Oh, this is the color Yours Truly. So it's a rose gold and then it has glitter on the other end. I'm gonna go ahead and put this rose gold color down. I don't know how much it's gonna shine through when I put the glitter on. Ooh, uh, I don't know if you guys can see that already. Since this is a liquid, I am gonna stay looking down so that it doesn't transfer up. Seeing how pigmented this is, you probably don't need to go in with that concealer. Sorry, I'm looking out funny because I don't want it to transfer. Um, you probably didn't need to go in with that concealer in the first place. This probably would have cut the crease just fine. Now I'm going to take the glitter side, which is a much more pink color, and just pack that right on top. I love this. I'm gonna go back in with that Luxie brush and that pink color called Love Letter. Back it on this outer corner again to intensify and then I'm gonna start to blend out this edge here. To help blend that edge a little bit more, I'm taking a Sigma E56 and a little bit of just the glitter, tapping it over the edge. And then once more, I'm gonna intensify that outer corner. I'm gonna take my JH40 brush in the color Cypress Umber just to re-intensify that depth. Last step I'm gonna do is taking a Luxie 215. It's just an angled liner brush. I'm gonna take Cypress Umber, which is the darkest color, and just go right above that cut crease. This is just gonna make it even more defined right on the inner part of the cut crease and make it look even more sharp. Now I'm just taking a makeup wipe, clean up all the fallout. Next I'm gonna try out the LA Girl Shockwave Neon Eyeliners. This is the black one, but they did have neon colors, of course. I have a very good feeling about these. Yep. Just as creamy and super pigmented as my Marc Jacobs highlighter, which is my all-time favorite. I take just a little bit of liquid liner. This is the Stila liquid liner. And I'm not going to wing out my liner. I'm just using it as a base for my lashes to go on. Now, I'm going to go ahead and pop these on off camera, but I found the Ardell Faux Mink number 8. 814 and they look really nice and just wispy. They remind me of the Lily, Lily Lashes in the style Paris, which are my favorite. So I'm going to pop off camera. I'm going to put mascara and this on and then we'll be right back. All right, everybody. So I went in with lashes. I ended up using my Lily Lashes in the style Big Day 
uh, with Sephora collection, you have to get them at Sephora, because those are dumb ones were just like not enough for this look at all, which I had a suspicion, but I'm going to save those lashes for another look. I'm planning on doing a full face of e.l.f. or the products I have at least for a full face of e.l.f. But yeah, I really like these lashes because they wing out on the end and they're very fluffy and dramatic. So obviously we needed some drama with the look we were going for today and I didn't want to cover up the inner half where the glitter was. So that's kind of why I picked these lashes. But because I went ahead and used that makeup wipe, I'm going to go back in with my primer again. I'm going to focus this right on my nose and my chin my cheekbone and then I'm going in with the Catrice Prime and Fine Dewy Glow Fixing Spray I love my dewy healthy kind of look and um, the Taylor raves about this so I figured I'd give it a go ooh it smells so good so far we are looking a-okay um today i'm gonna try the milani conceal and perfect in one foundation this is the color number two natural i tried this years ago when it first came out and i did not like it mostly because it turned orange on me so i'm hoping this is the right color they came out with more shades since then i'm gonna use my flower beauty sponge All right, our foundation's on. I do really like how it looks on the skin. It gives about a medium coverage, a natural finish, and it doesn't feel heavy. It's like a moussey kind of texture. The only thing is I'm not so sure about the color on the camera. It looks good, but in person, it's a little bit too golden, maybe even orangey on me. So we'll have to see. Next, I'm trying out the Milani Conceal and Perfect Concealer. This said it was supposed to be full coverage and hydrating, which I've been on the hunt for a new concealer, especially a hydrating one under my eyes because my eyes easily look really dry really fast. So far, it looks pretty good. I wouldn't say it's a super full coverage. I think it's more medium coverage. Um, and it's not... I'm not going to say it's super hydrating, but it's definitely not mattifying either. It just looks kind of like a natural finish, so I do like it. Just taking a little bit of my uh, Hourglass Veil Powder, my usual, for underneath my eyes. That all looks really nice and smooth. I'm not sure. My pores do look minimized, and I'm not sure if it's from the primer or the foundation, but I'm going to guess it's the primer because that is a claim for the primer itself, but I like how everything's looking thus far. Next, I'm going to go in with a liquid cream blush. I love cream blushes they just sink in the skin so nice these are the flower blush bombs I have the color bitten and cinnamon so one's really berry and one is more nude I'm gonna do the nude one and if I don't feel like it's enough then I might go in with a little bit of the bitten shade but I think that one's gonna be pretty so I'm just taking a little bit on a foundation brush and I have not set this part of my face yet I am not a big blush person, so I like when mine looks more natural. And this does give a very natural look, which I love. The good thing about a blush like this, and I did swatch these on my hand earlier, they set and they last. They do not move. So it's really great for horse shows in that sense. I think I'm going to feel a little risky and do some of the bitten shade just a little tiny, tiny, tiny bit. So what I'm doing is I'm blending it on my hand first. They do dry very quickly. I'm back in with my sponge that I use for the foundation just to tone it down and blend it out. That is beautiful. Be a beautiful. I love that. Now I'm just taking my um, hourglass powder and I'm going to go over my cheeks so that, especially because that was a cream blush, it does dry to kind of a powder finish. But um, this makes it so that when I go, to go in with my contour and other powder products, it's going to be really nice and easy to blend over top. The foundation does feel like a little bit sticky. And I don't always set my foundation just because I have dry skin, but this is one that feels like I need to set it. So I'm going to go ahead and finish my brows, and then we will jump right back into things. Next, I'm going to go ahead and contour with my Kat Von D shade Light. This is the lightest contour shade in that palette. Oh, I almost forgot. I wanted to use this new brush. This is a Flower Beauty brush that is made for blush specifically but I like using these to contour with because I feel like I can be really precise with them and get right into the hollow of that cheek. I'm gonna bronze my bronze. I'm gonna bronze my skin with the Becca Capri coat. This is my favorite bronzer. It just goes on so smooth. Makes me like glowy and sunken. I'm gonna go ahead at this point and spray my face with my Catrice setting spray again. And then for a highlight, I'm super excited about this because I have high, high hopes. This is the Wet n Wild I'm So Lit Loose Highlighter. I have heard some great things about it. I have no doubt that it's going to be very intense. Now I'm going to take this on my JH09 brush. I only took a very small amount. 
I like that really intense highlight on the tip of my nose. You, of course, don't have to do that, but I love it. There was a more golden shade in this as well that honestly would probably be beautiful. I probably could have even gone with that one. This one is pretty icy. To finish off this lower lash line, I think I'm going to take um, a pencil brush with Love Letter, which is that really bright pink kind of color from the Modern Renaissance. Tapping off a lot of the excess to make sure I don't get it all over my face. I'm gonna make my lower lash line super smoky with this. Taking the JH37 brush, and it's clean currently. I'm just gonna smoke out what's there. Then I'm just taking um, a little bit of Cypress Umber on that pencil brush, which is the JH38. Now I'm taking my mascara, I'm doing the Dior Dior Show x -Taze. I've been really liking this. It gives you very doll-like lashes. I am loving this look. The last thing we're gonna do is lips. So I'm gonna go in with the NYX Suede Lip Liner in Pink Lust slash Passion Fruit. Wow, that's confusing. Um, I love these lip liner formula. I've just never used this color before. It's not quite the right kind of pink for the lipstick I'm using, but it'll be fine. I'm using the Anastasia Liquid Lipstick in Karina. This is one of my all-time favorites that I just don't get to use very often. Now I'm all for bold lip, but this is just a little bit much with the eye going on. All right, everyone, this is a completed look. I'm really happy with how it turned out. I ended up using NARS under my thumb for my lip, which I think turned out really nice because it's just bright enough, but also just muted enough to not clash too much with the eye. And of course, I put on the beautiful vest, and I just have like a sequin black shirt underneath, really nice and basic, so it doesn't take away from the vest. So yeah, I hope you guys like this. If you're interested in the vest, check out our website, which is, well, we have Facebook and we have Instagram. And now you've seen us on YouTube, but it's Horsha Beauty Design. And then we had discussed making a shirt to go under it, so I think we probably will list it without a shirt, see if someone is interested, and then if not, we might make a shirt. Who knows? The world is a crazy place, but I hope you guys like this video. If you would be so kind as to subscribe and press that notification bell before you leave, make sure you get notified every time I upload. I will be uploading more often now, and I will see you guys in my next video.